I accidentally almost stole the cat the other day. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Are we ready for the family heirloom tour? So in a shocking turn of events today, I have COVID. Good morning, everyone. Sam has done her week of, what's it called? Penance, I don't know from the bet that she lost. If you don't remember, Sam and I did a little fun bet. So I won a whole week of sleeping in. She got up with the boys, although I wish I took better advantage of it. I literally got up before like 8.30 every day. Anyway, and then this weekend I was a little bit sick, so not have my period, I'm just tired. But I'm back up to getting up with the boys and I just woke up to the most amazing sound in the world. My programmed coffee maker. I don't know why I fell off the wagon of setting my coffee. I used to do this so diligently so that when I woke up, my coffee was ready. Your day is so much better when your coffee's made for you. And I don't have a wife who will ever make me coffee. <laughs> She's done it like 10 times since we met. It's very sweet when she does try. Uh, she's just not a coffee girly. She doesn't really know how to make it. So that's why I found programmed coffee makers. Anyway. My is going off right now, so it's perfect timing. One of the boys is up chatting, the other one is still asleep, so I like to leave them as long as I can while the other is happy and the other is asleep because if they're not ready to get up, well, that's fine with me. <laughs> it's cold this morning. What the heck? Let's check the weather. This is my boyfriend. Hi. He usually doesn't get up until I get up, but this morning, you left the bed early. Ferguson usually sleeps in the bed lately at my feet all night. So he goes to bed at like 10 and he wakes up at like 8. Hey, what are you doing today? You're smelly. The girls didn't come down with me. They would just be tired. I get it. 16 degrees. That's cold, folks. Considering it's been like 30, 16's cold. It's been like 25 when you wake up even. So I think our heat wave is finally over. I'm happy about that, but also not because this was probably the first Nova Scotian summer that felt like summer to me in 14 years. There's maybe one summer that felt like a summer. Where I'm from, it gets really hot, like 35 all summer and I loved it growing up like that because it's like summer. Here it never gets like that ever except this year which I loved because we are very privileged enough to have something called a heat pump where it's like air in the summer and heat in the winter and we didn't have anything like that before this house so I think I would have been very upset with the heat if we didn't have the heat pump. I am kind of happy that the heat is lifted because then I can walk, I can take the girls to the field. I wasn't really able to take them out for like big runs because it was so hot. Big day for Rosie, Thursday. Sam and I will talk about this later. But Rosie has struggled with anxiety for quite some time and we've tried a lot of things and nothing's worked. So she's going to start some anxiety meds. But I'm gonna wait till Thursday to start it because I'm taking them to a really funny cute little event at their school and she's fine there like she's actually fine i don't know why it's random anxiety which we will explain later in more detail but i don't want her to oh my gosh sorry i need coffee i don't want her to start the anxiety meds and go there the next day just because i want to be home to monitor her just in case she's feeling off or like acting a bit different i think it's better to wait when I mean, she's been struggling with anxiety long enough and more days I'm gonna be fine I am looking forward to it because it kind of devastates me that I can't take Rosie with me everywhere. <laughs> you probably know she's my soulmate. <laughs> me and Rosie, soulmate. I love all my animals equal. It's just there's like a different type of bond I think with Rosie because we got her like three weeks before two weeks. 
We got Rosie two weeks before I got pregnant with the twins. She kind of grew up laying on me for nine months. <laughs> she was my companion and kept me company every single day, no matter what, throughout all of that. And then she continued to do so when the boys were born. And she's just my best friend in the whole world. So it devastates me that I can't take her along with me when I take Elsie places. And Elsie's loving it because she's the only girl going out right now. And it's really sweet for Elsie. I think it'll be even sweeter for her when her sister can come. Almost. I'm gonna make the boys some oatmeal um, quickly before they get up so that as soon as they get up and say eat, eat, <laughs> I have something to give them. Or should I make eggs? Let's do eggs. That was a bad egg crack. Also, these look disgusting, but they're actually delicious. These are little energy bars I made in the food processor yesterday. I used the end of an almond butter container, end of a sunflower butter container, some peanut butter, oats, cashews, the end of the bag of trail mix, end of a bag of dried cranberries, a little bit of water, and oh, a little bit of maple syrup. That's it. And you put it in the food processor. It goes into like this bar thing. And the boys are obsessed with sprinkles, so it feels like a treat. So we're gonna have eggs, this, and some blueberries. Blueberries. So the breakfast, I think. All right, I'm gonna go get the babies. One thing I'm so grateful for at this like this time in our lives is that. We rarely have anything that we need to rush to. I just love that I can stay in my pajamas. <laughs> Where have I showed you this? <laughs> I don't think I've taken it off. In like two weeks. I'm serious. I I think they might have given us a code. So this is from Octopied Mind and the girl, one of the people who started this company, I knew many moons ago before I knew Sam. I'll just leave it there. And she was kind enough to send us some of the products and I'm truly obsessed and I think I told her that I wear this every day but I think you probably assume someone is exaggerating. I'm not. I literally have worn this so many days in a row. Corny. Did Auntie send you a corn in the mail? This guy's obsessed with it smells, yeah. It does smell. <laughs> this is obsessed with corn and Auntie sent him a corn that he doesn't have to throw in the garbage when he goes moldy. Because it's not a real corny. It's squishy and it smells. And what did Auntie send you, Moose? Yeah. It's called a ukulele. Are you going to learn to play Riptide by Vance Joy? Yeah. <laughs> Good job! Great. 
great singing. And you're squishing your corny? And you're smelling your corny, huh? That's pretty fun. Daddy. Corny. Daddy. You're gonna hide it? Yeah. Okay, let's go hide and seek with Corny, okay? Mm. Yeah, time. You want water too? Please. Please? Oh, so polite. Of course you can have water. <laughs> what a messy table. We didn't clean it last night, did we? <clears throat> Does that one work okay? Yeah. Okay. Do you like your energy bar? The Sprinks? Yeah. Mm. Good morning. Since I woke up, I feel like all I've been doing is computer work. And I came in here actually to get this bin of vet supplies because Shelby and Rosie are both sick. We have a whole bunch of medicine and stuff to give them. And when I opened this, which is where that was being kept, I saw that. Okay, so way up here is my great grandmother's corning wear? Is it called corning wear or cornish wear? I was gonna show them some of like the sentimental things that we have around the house from like old family members. I don't know, I just thought it'd be fun. Allie's not feeling too good. First you had some kind of bug and then you had a cold and now you have a stomach bug? I feel like you see this old, what's it called? Like glassware, baking wear at all of the thrift stores with that blue flower pattern. But mine, my grandmother bought for her mother, my great grandmother, whenever my grandmother bought her first job and it's a very special family heirloom and I have all kinds of things like that around the house and I just randomly wanted to show you because I thought it was fun but also I'm making a coffee specifically not because I need a coffee because I have a coffee ow oh, my foot I have a coffee right here so why would I make another one well, I'm just gonna add to that but I just remembered that we have whipped cream and sprinkles and caramel sauce I don't know. I just got this thought in my head that I want to make a fun coffee. So I'm gonna do that. Except I don't think there's enough beans. Eh, I'll give it a try. I'm gonna make all our little fridge photos. No, we don't want to dull her. Because she's amazing in the house. She's teeny weeny with big over It's recording. It's just oh. overhearing our oh. conversation. Rosie has teeny, really bad anxiety. Teeny, teeny, teeny. And she's starting not anxiety meds. She's so good in the house. She's, she's so, so good. She's the best girl in the world. But she's starting it's anxiety so meds this yeah. year. She's so good at the field. She's so good at school. Except we can't walk her. She's scared to leave the yard. She, she's, she's scared, scared of cardboard. Of car. She's, she's scared, scared of rooms. bikes. She's but scared of everything. everything. So but she needs so some help. Run wild, she girl. She needs some, some help. Go on. You get out there doing And we've tried all these other options like trainers and lots of trainers we tried like walk trainers we've tried private trainers in the home yeah she we went to puppy all. school we've tried it all and we've got to the point where we just want her to have the next step we just yeah we want her to be able to do more things we want her to have a good quality of life yeah so we're gonna try some minutes keep your fingers crossed for poor little rosie i know little cheating was a big old weenie. Allie calls her Cheenie Machini with a big old weenie, and now when she goes Cheenie Machini with the big old, the kids yell, Weenie! <laughs> she obviously doesn't have a weenie. Cheenie Machini with a big old weenie. This is the most extra coffee I've ever made in my entire life. I, that's amazing. Oh my god! That's like a gourmet. Are we ready for the family heirloom tour? So up here, this is actually a camera in this leather case. It's actually Allie's because my family decided to gift her a family heirloom, which is nice. I guess they just love her so much. So this was my great-grandfather's. So my dad's mom's dad's camera he was a professional photographer this thing is ancient it's amazing it is so cool actually should we look at it just because i'm sure i'm sure a lot of you are into like photography and stuff i don't know i'm assuming just because that's an interest of mine that it'd be an interest of yours it's not the case i realize inside here 
Oh, here, it's a roller cord. Look at this. How old do you think this is? That is so cool. Oh my gosh, and you can see all of the mechanisms and stuff. On the same shelf, we have this tiny glass perfume bottle. That is my mom's from when she was really young. Down here, I also have my mom's Polaroid camera from the 80s. I thought I'd be able to find them for you down here, but I couldn't. I have been meaning to put them up in my office, but I also have some old, like, tin art pieces <laughs> that were my great-grandmother's. And somewhere down there is also Allie's grandfather's globe. And upstairs, in the twins' room, I'm not gonna turn the white noise off because we're not gonna be in here for long, but we have this bear that is made from my grandfather's shirts. Is that not so cool? It used to smell like him. <sighs> it doesn't anymore. And finally, Allie and I both have a lot of really special jewelry pieces. She has this really pretty bracelet made from her great-grandmother's china. But I was gonna show you this locket. It says mom that belonged to my other great-grandmother, my grandfather's mom. And it is a clock locket with his picture inside. I can't find it when I'm looking for it, but I just had it when I was organizing our jewelry. Anyway, I also have a charm bracelet. It's so pretty. I can make all my family members jealous of them I have this. I have a charm bracelet that my grandfather used to get my grandmother charms when they were really young. And I have the bracelet and all the charms. So, lots of little family bits. Allie has some too, but I feel like she just keeps hers away. <laughs> Allie doesn't really like clutter, so that's why most of the things are in the office because it's like my little spot where I keep things. So in a shocking turn of events today, I have COVID. What the heck? We've been kind of sick-ish for like, I don't know, I guess since we got back from New York, I've been really unusually tired and I thought maybe my iron is low because I took like four COVID tests. But I think they were all expired. Well, they were all expired. The one I took today was also expired, but it had more solution in it. Anyway, I was kind of shocked to see the line, but I had a feeling. I literally had a feeling for like one week that I had COVID, but it kept being negative and like we didn't have a lot of symptoms. I just felt like I had a cold. I think we're honestly at the tail end of it and I think we've gone through most of it. Hopefully, hopefully this is not a new thing and I was already just like, kind of in, you know, my immune system was down because I had a cold and this is new. <laughs> we will see. But I felt so unusually tired today. I was like, oh, it's gotta be COVID because I've only felt that tired pregnant in the two times I had COVID. I've never been that tired, except those three times. And this time. <laughs> Anyway, so I was supposed to go to a, a yoga class tonight on the waterfront with my friend Claire, <sighs> but I can't. Good morning. I slept until 9.30 this morning. My lovely wife got up with the boys. I got to rest. So like I was saying last night, I do think I've had COVID for like a few days, probably the better part of a week <laughs> because I felt like I did and I kept saying I think I have COVID. I think now that I'm finally letting myself rest I'm like crashing extra hard. Sam took the boys out to do some errands. They're all healthy but they went to get some groceries and stuff. The girls went to a little play group today. A little doggy play group. So it's really strange to just be home with me and the cats because so I always had Lily with me if I was working at home by myself that this is the first time that I don't and it is very strange I have the cats and Smalley just came because I was like I feel very lonely I need my cats hi beautiful kitty you're so beautiful anyway yeah it's really weird so I'm going to do a bit of work but I'm actually gonna let myself <laughs> rest a little bit and order fall clothes for the boys. Nothing in the world makes me happier than that, I think. I thought ordering fall clothes for myself was the happiest thing in the world. Turns out, it's for your kids. <laughs> Absolute favorite time of the year. I start September 1st. This year we're gonna be away. I'm gonna decorate August 27th because that way when we get back from our trip, uh, it'll be decorated. And this year I've already been practicing. They're saying pumpkin and ghost. They're like really into it. So I can't wait to show them fall things at Halloween. 
It's so fun. So now I have fall buddies. We are all fall birthdays. Speaking of Smalley, you're getting an alley vlog here. Don't worry, this doesn't happen that often. So <laughs> you can resume back to your normal content soon. I accidentally almost stole a cat the other day. <laughs> so I was walking and I saw Smalley running toward me, doing the Smalley run, doing the Smalley meow meow. She does this very specific hello. And I was like, oh my gosh, Smalley got out. So I picked her up. I was like, hi, Smalley, what are you doing? And I was like grasping her so tight. I was talking to my best friend and I was like, I gotta go. I just found Smalley on the street. She must've got out. And then I was like petting her and walking. And I thought, oh, wait a sec, how did Smalley get out? Like, this is very unlikely. And then I thought, how do I know it's Smalley or just a lookalike? So I called Tam and I was like, is Smalley home? And then she's like, hold on, Smalley was home. So I had been walking away with someone's cat who was not mine and so I ran back and I put it back where I found it uh but Smalley has an identical twin who lives very close by which is really strange anyway I'm starting to feel a bit dizzy and not good so I'm gonna just lay down and enjoy the peaceful house so you don't look so hot I was talking to them oh you told them you have COVID At least you're resting. Yeah. Allie is so bad at not resting when she's sick. Did she tell you though that she thinks that we're on the tail end of an illness? I did tell her. <laughs> and I think that it's the start. I am feeling sicker and sicker. But and then also, we just sat for a few is minutes. It just, like, is it in my head? Is it just in your head? Like That you, I know you have COVID. Because I know? tested this morning and I still am testing negative, although our tests are expired. Because it could be. <sighs> I really don't know. But then also, Moosey was really cranky when we were out, and I thought maybe he felt a bit warm. I so. think he was like that last week, though. I, I know. think that we all had it. I think they that, were sick first. I think that this is a new illness. I think that we be. are run down There's from no being way. sick, and because we were just all a little sick, and now I think we picked up something bad. So I'm going to sit and read for a little bit and make some lunch because I just don't have the energy. I was feeling good until I just sat down to talk to Allie, and then I got up and was like, oh. No. I shouldn't have sat. So I'm just gonna sit. She's watching a true crime documentary. I just wanted to, I just wanted to tell you that it says "squirrely girl" is someone's nickname in this book. "Squirrely girl" sounds a lot like "squirrely early." So bedtime took absolutely forever tonight, but I actually did some reading while I was putting the twins down for bed because. Um, one of them just wanted me to cuddle him for an hour and a half. So, any parents out there can relate to how much that sucks. So, I just sat in a rocking chair with him and he just laid on my chest and every once in a while, because he was like not even going to sleep. He was very awake. Every once in a while he'd just like pop his head up and like say something to me. He doesn't have that many words, he's a year and a half. But he would say like, twinkle twinkle or, or hi mommy. <laughs> Which leads me to my, um potential ick that I didn't know that I had. So I'm reading Dear Hannah, which is a very quick paced thriller, which is exactly what I needed. I'm actually 54% into it after starting it last night at this time, which is really good for me. That might be the first little inkling that we're getting that I'm getting out of this reading slump. What I was going to say though, why I picked up the camera, mommy, I don't think that I like the word. <laughs> And some of you are probably thinking, Sam, your kids call you mommy. I know. But I'm reading adults calling their mothers mommy in this, or adults referring to like a teen's mother as mommy. And I don't like it. That's... Yeah, maybe I don't want to be mommy. I have to break the news to my kids tomorrow. 